A pair of local filmmakers have taken on an ambitious project on behalf of the Thunder Bay Museum. Hundreds of rolls of news film produced right here at CKPR Television in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s are being digitized for future generations to see. In part one of a two-part series, Jonathan Wilson looks at what's been found and how it's being preserved. Go on and do the twist, and it goes like this. This locally televised demo of The Twist back in 1961 is among thousands of short news clips that are slowly being unlocked for today's local history lovers. CKPR-TV used film on the air from 1958 to 1978 to show viewers what was happening in Fort William, Port Arthur and then Thunder Bay. More than 2,000 reels of 16mm film are being given new life by the husband and wife team of Ron Harpel and Kelly Saxberg. Dougal Media had kept the old films in storage for years. They were donated to the Thunder Bay Museum for preservation in the mid-1990s, and now they're in the basement at PACI, being cleaned, restored, and digitized. We were very fortunate as a community that uh, Dougal Media donated uh, these films. It's uh, all about Thunder Bay and the lakehead, and, uh, and this is really important. The museum first approached the pair about the reclamation project four years ago, and the first gem they uncovered was the 1963 parade and world premiere of The Incredible Journey which was written by local author Sheila Burnford. And of course there was like 10,000 people there lining the streets and Mickey Mouse and the film directors came. Some of the films also include audio, including this one with former NDP leader Tommy Douglas during a visit to the Lakehead. And give them the purchasing power by which they can buy the goods and services that our society can produce. But before the old reels can be digitized, they have to be cleaned and repaired. So I've got my old splicer back there and uh, just working with that film is just so incredibly fantastic. And it's pristine. It's really was shown once on the nightly news, maybe a couple of times. So uh, the, the film doesn't have very many scratches. Harpel is also a Lakehead University history professor and he's devoting his LU research time to this project. The museum has funding from the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund to hire young historians to help document and digitize the films over the next few years and it will take at least that long. Well, it's enormous. It's absolutely enormous. We have about, uh, well, 200,000 feet of, uh, of 60 millimeter film footage that we want to transfer. Digitize it at the highest quality possible. So we're, we're transferring it all at 4K. The first batch of historic news film focusing on the 1970 amalgamation will be presented at the museum's upcoming gala event on April 3rd at the Prince Arthur Hotel. Tomorrow we'll have our own sneak peek at some of the film footage from 1961 and hear how the public could help the filmmakers identify all the local people in these images. Jonathan Wilson, TBT News.